Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video is going to talk about managing your add-ins. First of all, uh, whether or not the add-in exists uh, determines uh, what was selected during the install. Uh, if we go to Tools, Add-ins, you'll see all of your add-ins that are currently activated. On the left is for the active session, and on the right is for startup. So if we wanted, for instance, circuit works to be on every time we open SOLIDWORKS, we would check it here. And if we just wanted to run it once for this current session, we would turn it on on the left instead. Okay. Now, this has some ramifications if you're in a network environment with some mix of lower level SOLIDWORKS standards with um, maybe SOLIDWORKS Premium or SOLIDWORKS Office Premium or Office Professional. So for your users that won't use uh, an add-in, uh, probably would have them to turn it off on the right for startup. Otherwise, they could be pulling your higher level licenses and using those um, when they're not actually using the product. So I would probably recommend to have everyone who's not using a higher level product um, have the add-ins off for startup unless they absolutely need it every time they start SOLIDWORKS. Okay. Let's show you one more area where you can activate the add-ins, and it's under this Office Products tab. And when you uh, turn on an item here, that also will activate the add-in. We just turn on Simulation. We go to Tools, Add-ins, and you'll see that Simulation is checked. Just for the active session, though, not for startup. Okay, we deselect it here, and... Um, that deselects it just for the active session. You can see simulations de -checked. deselected now. This has been Tim Roberts at Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. Thanks for watching.